Okay, everybody, in this video, I am going to talk about uh, the PSYOP that's taking place and uh, another lone, supposed lone gunman. This is, this is a crock because um, what I think happened here is uh, he was waking people up. He talked about tyrants and oppressors and stuff, and I'll show you that in a minute, but he was waking people up. And one of the uh, more powerful to wake people up and influence people is music. And that's why music is such a big business. And that's how they are influencing your kids, people, through music. Um, who's influencing who, you know, through the media and, 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 and uh, advertising you know they can do i'm not a bible thumper okay but the you know the deeds and acts and and stuff talked about that jesus did they could do with tv in three months okay um things don't have to be the way they are they are made the way they are they're created the way they are this whole th everything's created the the destruction of the family has been created um, the the family in general, I, I don't even think that's natural. I mean, it is natural, but not the way that we're conditioned and brought up t to to do it. Um, let me go through some of this so I can show you here uh, wh wh where I'm at in, in this uh, research. Neighbors, Temple Shooters X said he had dropped off the face of the earth. See? He dropped off the face of the earth. He disappeared. You ever hear about people disappearing? That's right. And and why do they keep ignoring the fact, and everybody's ignoring this, that there that several witnesses said there was three or four people involved in this, not a lone gunman, but they keep insisting on a lone gunman. Um it's right there in front of your face, people. Uh the gunman who murdered six supposedly worshippers in Milwaukee before being killed by police had dropped off the face of the earth weeks before the shooting, said neighbors who had recently spoke to the shooter, shooter's former girlfriend. Sharon, Terry, uh, Sharon and Terry Page, who said they are unrelated to the shooter, Wade Michael Page, lived below Misty Cook, who dated Page. When Sharon and Terry Page saw Cook Monday morning, the day after the shooting, Misty seemed kind of out of it. Sharon Page said, she said, did you hear what happened to Wade? As of then we just found out that it does Sharon and Misty appeared shot um no emotion didn't cry no crying blank stare she said she apologized to us for putting us through all this chaos very strange okay um according to Sharon and Terry Page Misty and Wade move in an apartment in March uh and says how he virtually disappeared again that's right yeah he disappeared all right um she told us for six weeks she hadn't heard from him. That would have been about the time after he left, so he must have gotten a hold of a co-worker. She uh, said he hadn't been at work for three weeks. She said it kind of just dropped off the face of the earth. Very strange, people. Um, then it goes on, and the lady says she wished she... Oh, uh, the stepmother. Where are the parents? They talked to the ex-stepmother, but what about the parents? Um... They talk about how he was happy during Christmas. I'll leave links in the description area. Uh, he was a lovely, gentle child. Uh, could imagine what could have gone through him, something like this. Uh, but you, uh, they say they'll never know why. Okay, so now let's go to this article. Um, gunmen exhorted other white supremacists to act. They're making this stuff up. I doubt he was even a white supremacist. I haven't seen any good. They have one photo. Um, I'm, I'm highly suspicious of whether it's photoshopped or not. I don't know if there's any of you Photoshop experts out there, but uh, you never know what he was doing or what his mindset was. Um, it didn't sound to me like he was hate. They, they couldn't find any hate comments. I'll show you the comments they found that he left on certain websites. And... Um, there is nothing there about hating any race. Uh, they say he played in the white supremacist heavy metal bands. 
uh, and posted frequent comments on the internet forums for skinheads repeatedly exhorting members. See how they use these talismanic words, exhorting members? Okay, and here's how he supposedly exhorted members. If you are wanting to meet people, get involved and become active, he wrote last year. Stop hiding behind your computer or making any excuses. Yeah, that's what he's saying. That has nothing to do with extorting people to do anything. They're trying to trick your brain here. He wanted people to get out and talk to other people and wake people up to what's going on, is what it sounded like to me. <clears throat> Not exhorting them. What is that, exhorting? Um, a day after Paige strode in the Sikh temple with a 9mm handgun and multiple magazines and ammunition, authorities were trying to determine that the 40-year-old army veteran was taking his own advice when he opened fire. See? What he said there has nothing to do with opening fire on, on people. This is how they try to twist it. Um, detectives, this is a psyop. Detective caution they might never know for sure, but the picture of Paige began to develop, found in dark corners of the internet, and records from a dodgy army career. Dodgy. I mean, how do they know it was dodgy? Well, there's another word for you. How was it dodgy? Explain to me how it was dodgy. They just throw this out there, and then they leave it at that. Um, he wanted to see his beliefs advanced in action. There's some more, you know? Uh, Paige, who was shot, said he was a Hammerskins nation, a lot, a lot, a lot of. Paige posted 250 messages, okay, and the only one they could find was this one. Uh, he advertised for a family friendly barbecue in North Carolina, employing others to attend. A family friendly barbecue. Do you see how it's jumping from one extreme to another in this article? Um,. In November, Page challenged a poster who indicated he would leave the United States if Herman Cain was elected president. He said, stand in the fight, don't run. He implored. He was saying, stay here and, and wake people up. Probably not to fight. Who's to say what he was saying? Um, and again, with the chaos and the accuracy and, and everything that you got to do, you cannot do that by yourself. Um... In every instance of this, there's witnesses saying there was multiple people in the Aurora case, and the one from Orlando, they there was they said there was multiple witnesses that said there was multiple people involved. Um, he was trained in psychological warfare. There goes the psychology connection. Every one of them has a psychology connection too. Okay. After leaving the military, he became active in obscure other world. Da da da. Trying to do more of that. <laughs> okay, and then he was in a band called End Apathy. Okay, now this is very interesting. You know what apathy is? I'm going to tell you what apathy is. He said the band was called End Apathy. Okay, apathy is a state of indifference where the suppression of emotions such as concern, excitement, motivation, and passion. So he's saying, end the suppression of concern, excitement, motivation, and passion, which is what people are doing nowadays. So they're suppressing emotions. They're putting emotions in the back of their mind. Like when you see the kids starving in Africa and you know it's not right. You move that emotion you know, away. Or if you're on Facebook, like I've seen people do, say, I come here to have fun, to get away. Uh, I don't want, you know... This is where I get away. I, I get all my stuff from the news. Yeah, you get a bunch of bull crap from the news. And if you watch a half hour of it, if that, and that's all the concern into this world you put into it. And then you want to go to Facebook and uh, get away. You want to move, you want to suppress your emotions. Uh, they may lack a sense of purpose, meaning in their life, and, uh, so on and so forth and I'll leave the link in the description area go read this, this is very interesting uh, comes the etymology of the word comes from Greek uh, absence of passion and sensibility um, so uh, go read that I'm trying to make this kind of fast because uh, for some reason I can't put out long videos like I used to be able to I'm not sure if it's some kind of copyright infringement I got or what so if it seems like I'm going kind of fast that's why but I'll leave all these links in the description area 
this one is a very this is a blog spot you know it's not mainstream uh quote unquote official news but it's a really good blog and I, I liked what was said here it's uh intelligible written good and um it says you know it makes good points here a myspace page for the band describes them as old school band with punk and metal influences okay the, the music is a sad commentary on our sick society and the problems that prevent true progress reads the description of the band on the myspace page which is the truth and see this is what they're trying to do they're trying to demonize anybody who's trying to bring this to light anybody who's trying to expose the tyrants running our lives telling us we can't do this we can't smoke pot we you can't do this you can't do that but you're free this is what and they're going to demonize they're trying to demonize people like us that was the whole thing with the 9-11 tattoo they made sure they said that over and over and over and over again to embed it in your mind it's conditioning it's television programming come on and then it goes on with a, a bunch of other good points here the songs talked about uh, sociological issues, re religion, and how the value of human life has been degraded and being submissive to tyranny and hypocrisy. See? And uh, a lot of us that are trying to expose truth and talk about this use the word tyranny a lot. So that's why they're trying to demonize this word. Okay? And then it goes on, and it makes a, a bunch of other really good points. So uh, go check that out. Um, you really need to go check that out um <clears throat> and here's a really good article i know you guys a lot of you guys aren't big on Infowars, but if i see a good article uh, this uh susan posell it's not an article written by alex jones it's an article written by suzanne posell so uh i don't worship alex jones i just if i see good information with links in it like this that you can follow and do your own research to different websites then I, I'm using it you know um, it was a uh, act of domestic terrorism this is what they're trying to label it now in act of domestic terrorism and they're gonna profile people on using the word tyranny and if they have, they have a 9-11 tattoo um, and stuff like that and this is what this article talks about here this is total psyop this was probably because the other one was getting exposed so hard but you don't understand all these are going to get exposed now because people are watching now the all-seeing eyes looking the other way now all right so there you go uh i'll upload more uh videos if i come across anything else and i'll be uploading more videos on other things um, and using the word tyranny, okay? So, but if I disappear, um, something's wrong because I'm not going to disappear anytime. I'm, I'm going to stick around, <laughs> although sometimes I don't want to. <laughs> Just want to go out in the woods and live, but that's not me. My purpose is here for some reason, for some odd reason, uh, my purpose seems to be here. So... Uh, go visit my website, uh, leave a comment, read the articles, leave a comment, you know, look around, um, share it if you could. Uh, it's www.reddawnpost.com. It's reddawnpost.com. I'm also on Facebook, forward slash reddawnpost. All right. Thanks a lot. Take care. <laughs>